In early May, a draft of the Supreme Court opinion on the future of abortion rights was obtained by Politico, indicating that Roe v. Wade is likely to be overturned by the court. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me right quick. Yo, before we get into this video, man, let me go ahead and ask you guys to do the HBO special. That's to hit the like button, subscribe button, and the thank you button to show support for this channel. Without further ado, we about to go ahead and jump right into it. Listen, I was about to go to sleep. I really was. I, 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 I'm in the bed right now as I'm doing this podcast. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I kind of I kind of unwind. I check some emails. I go and check some DMs and stuff like that. I even read a couple of articles. I came across this one. This one's kind of serious. Kind of serious, man. So. Oklahoma governor signs the nation's strictest abortion ban. You know what that means? You know what that means, ladies? Basically, what that means is you can't get an abortion in the, in, in the great state of Oklahoma. That dude, that, that governor dude says, you know, no, you, 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 you can't get an abortion. You get pregnant, you're stuck. Now, I think there was a, a, a stipulation, right? I think there was a stipulation like after 50 weeks or something like that. But by the looks of this right here, mm -mm. Let's, let's get into it. Kevin Sitt on Wednesday, today, signed into law the nation's strictest abortion ban, making the state the first national to effectively end the availability of the procedure. State lawmakers approve the ban by enforcing, state lawmakers approve the ban enforced by the civil lawsuits rather than criminal prosecution, similar to the one in Texas, law that was passed last year. Texas passed a law that you ladies can't get no abortion. Basically, these two states saying, forget you. Forget you. Even though it's your body, it's your choice. They said, forget you. You can't get, you, you can't get an abortion in the great state of Texas and in the great state of Oklahoma. The law takes effect immediately upon sits signature and prohibits all abortions with a few exceptions, a few, small few. Abortions providers have said that they will stop performing the procedure as long as soon as the bill is signed. This dude said, and I quote, I promise Oklahomians that as governor, I will sign every piece of pro-life legislation that comes across my desk. And I am proud to keep that promise today. The first term Republican. Remember, guys, this is the guy that you put in office. This is the guy you voted in office. So if you was like, I, I, I don't know, uh, what, what's the other side? I know this is pro-life, but what's the other side of that? If you was on the other side and you put this man in the office, here you go. From the moment life begins at conception is when we have a responsibility as human beings to do everything we can to protect that baby's life and the life of the mother. That is what I believe in, and that is what majority of Oklahomians believe. So they thinking that they protecting the, the, the mother's life, but ain't it the mother's choice to have the procedure done if she don't want the baby? I mean, we already have issues with parents being derogatory towards their kid. Some of these kids 
don't even, some of these kids don't ask to be here. And if a woman feels that she can't take care of the baby or don't want the baby, then give her the opportunity to get rid of the baby. Abortion providers across the country has been bracing for the possibility that the U.S. Supreme Court's new conservative majority might further restrict the practice and that it has especially been the case in Oklahoma and in Texas. The impact will be disastrous for Oklahomians. Elizabeth Nash says it will also have severe ripple effects, especially for Texas patients who has been traveling to Oklahoma in large numbers after the Texas six-week abortion ban banned, went into the effect last September. The bill are part of an aggressive push in the Republic-led state to scale back abortion rights. It comes on the heels of a leaked draft opinion from the nation's high court that suggests justice are considering weakening or overturning the landmark Roe versus Wade decision that legalized abortion nearly 50 years ago, which means that accredited doctors that can actually do the procedure the right way, the safe way. Now these now, if 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 push comes to shove. It's going to go back to the dark ages where females is going to figure out ways to 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 abort them, self abort, which is going to lead to much more damages to their bodies, if anything else. Or they're going to go to the dark web and find some illegal ways of getting their situation taken care of. That was the whole point of Roe versus Wade. It was to help ladies to get an abortion safely. The only exception in Oklahoma law are to save the life of a pregnant woman or if the pregnancy is a result of a rape or incest that has been reported to law enforcement. The bill specifically authorized doctors to remove a dead unborn child caused by spontaneous abortion or miscarriage or the removal of an eclectic pregnancy, a potential life-threatening emergency that occurs when the fertilized egg implants outside the uterus, often in the fallopian tube and in early pregnancy. See, now, now you, you guys got to, <laughs> fellas, I'm telling you, ladies, I'm telling you, if you don't want it to happen, Make sure y'all do some protection, man, because if you're in the great state of Texas and in the great state of Oklahoma, you're going to have to fly out of those states to a state that can perform the abortion. And don't forget about the cost. By them doing this, it's most certainly going to jack up the, the, the price of abortion. The law does not apply to the use of the morning after pill, such as Plan B or any other contraption. Two of Oklahoma's four abortion clinics already stopped providing abortion after the governor signed a six-week ban earlier this month. With the state's two remaining abortion clinics inspecting to stop offering services, it is unclear what will happen to women who qualify up under the one exception. The law author state representative Wendy says doctors will be empowered to decide which women qualify for these types of abortions. They will be performed in a hospital. But providers and abortion rights activists warn that trying to qualify could prove difficult and even dangerous in some circumstances. In 
in the addition to the Texas style bill already signed into law, the measure is one of at least three anti abortion bills sent this year to sit. Oklahoma law is styled after the first of its kind, Texas law that is that's the U.S. Supreme Court has allowed to remain in place and that allow private citizens to sue abortion providers or anyone who helps a woman obtain an abortion. That's a, that's a damn shame. So, brother, man, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If the lady have the abortion and she says she don't want it, are you going to take care of that kid? Can you take care of that kid? There's so many kids out here that's being malnourished, malnutrition, mal, mal, it, it, just, just being uh, uh, ill taken care of. What you going to do? You got a lot of kids that's in that's in homes, that's in uh, orphanage. What you going to do? And when them kids, let's think about this for a minute. When them kids grow up and grow out of the system, all you guys going to do is put them on the streets. And then what? They're going to end up like that person that did that ill shit down in Texas. Or that person that did that ill shit up north at the at, at the grocery store. Both of them was teenagers. Other Republican-led states sought to copy Texas ban. Idaho governor signed the first copycat measure in March, although it has been temporarily blocked by the state's Supreme Court. Good for them. The third Oklahoma bill is to take effect this summer and will make it a felony to perform an abortion punishable by up to 10 years in prison. That bill contains no exception for rape and or incest. What y'all going to do? Right? What y'all going to do? The great state of Texas and the great state of Oklahoma says that you guys can't or says that or prohibits you from getting an abortion. In any case, if it was an accidental pregnancy, if it was rape, well, right now, rape and incest right now, you know, but it has to be proven and it has to be in the in in uh in the in the law books. But uh if 16 year old Annie and 16 year old John mess around and do the do without protection, she's pretty much stuck with that baby. Now not to say that I'm against abortion, you know, I'm I'm for a woman's right. She said, hey, look, I can't, I, I, I can't have a baby right now. It's too much pressure on me right now. I can't do it. Well, if that's the case, get an abortion. Go to full nine and, and, and get the baby up for adoption, I guess. But if you're in the great state of Oklahoma and the great state of Texas, Gonna have to find other means to 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 get an abortion because no none of the clinics, none of the abortion providers is not gonna risk it being, you know, sent to jail or getting sued or getting hemmed up for 10 years or or more. And again, like I said earlier, when you guys decide to, you know, leave the state to get the abortion. Make sure you put in consideration the money that's the, the more money that you're going to need to get it. So that's going to do it for this commentary for the night, man. Uh, what you guys think? What, what do you guys think? 
Let me know in the comments below because I, I think this is something serious. Something serious. If the great state of Oklahoma and the great state of Texas is doing it, you know, you, you know it's only a matter of time before the ripple effect becomes across the whole USA. Which taking which taking the authority out of the woman's hands to do what she needs to do when it comes to her body and her health. All right, everybody. So let's get the conversation started in the comments below, man. Let me know what you guys think. What you guys think about the great state of Oklahoma and the great state of Texas. You know, they 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 banding abortion. They took the authority out of the woman's hands and now they made it a felony for providers to give them what they need in case they need an abortion. Now they got to leave the state. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you very much for listening. I appreciate all you guys. Shout out to the channel members that make this channel great. Give me the HBO special. That's hit the subscribe button, like button, and the thank you button to show support of this channel. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. Peace. There are going to be people who are left behind. There are going to be children who are left behind, who've suffered from rape and incest, who other thought wise would want to be able to terminate a pregnancy. There are going to be people who um, it may be difficult because it will be expensive to travel out of state, either by bus, by train, or by plane. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.